G'day guys, it's Billy here from losttreasure.com.au Well, I'm out at Braden's place again, Sunday today, so tomorrow I'm heading up to Perth to cash in all this uh, steel. So anyway guys, it's a bloody stinking hot day today. I'm not really motivated, but I have to get it done. So anyway, I'm going to start over here and start collecting um, all the iron and so forth, whatever I can lift and put in the back of the trailer. And any other stuff that I'm going to sell on eBay for Broden, I'll put to one side and I'll show you later. So, I'll keep going guys. And hopefully you might um, get a couple more willy willies. This is where I filmed it from the other day. So, let's, we'll see what okay, happens. guys. Well, I finished for the day. Both of those bins are more or less totally full. I don't want to overload too much. I'd say it's pretty well... A uh, fair few ton on there at the moment, so I don't want to be too greedy and get into trouble on the way up to the city to scrap this in. It's not worth the risk. And anyway, guys, I'll just quickly show you some of the relics I've found. Um, also, I've been sorting out all this scrap metal for Braden. So all of this stuff here, um, I'll sell on eBay for Braden, and I'll get a um, probably 50% profit out of that. You know, 50% commission. <clears throat> so we'll start over here, this is an old, um, looks like to be an old sunshine harvester or some other type of um, early tractor um, brake or gear or something like that. So people are always after this kind of stuff so I'll sell that. And just down here is a couple of, or one foot rest off an old sunshine harvester or like I say another tractor or something like that. I think this is an old plough head, a um, couple of trolley wheels I found, this here is an old cast iron pot but it has got a big hole in it there but it's still a nice looking pot especially on the bottom there you can see all the writing and also found this beautiful old um, and just here's another trolley wheel and this is nice, a nice old John Bellamy, I don't know what it says, but it's made in London. Uh, this is some type of tool, just here is an old rim pack, or rim tool, an APAC rim tool. Uh, some cogs, a couple of old um, tractor wheels or horse cart wheels, just there, there is some more around. Small plough heads, I've sold these before like this before for about 20 bucks for the set. There's an old horseshoe there, some more plough heads. This is pretty interesting, looks like to be an old um, style anvil, possibly um, homemade, not too sure. That's nice. It's, uh, I found a couple of door hinges, some old tools. This is nice, beautiful old um, pick head. Never found one like this one before, so that's nice. I love the old uh, pick heads. And these are these are always good to find. I've sold these on eBay before. It's like uh, coat coat racks. You know, people who do metal work make them into nice coat stands and so forth. It's an old plough head. A couple of round pieces of metal. So sell those on eBay as like for people who do candelabras and so forth. Beautiful old tractor seat. It is a bit damaged on the edges there, but it's still nice. And it's got the um, maker's marking just there, so that'll definitely sell for quite a bit of money on eBay. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm going to ask Braden if I can have this. This is like an old incinerator. So that, this is unreal in perfect condition. So open that up, and that's where you burn. I don't know, you could even use it for melting metal and so forth, you know, like a furnace. So, it's in really good condition. And just here, this is an old, um, probably for um, ripping up the soil, what the farmers did back in the old days, but I'm going to sell that on eBay as a candelabra. You know, they look beautiful with all candles on it, in the holes there, so I'll definitely buy that. So, I'm sure I'll find more stuff guys, I've done a fair bit at the moment, but I'll come back next week and finish the rest off, hopefully, 
And like I say, there's unlimited um, steel around this area, especially in the, the bush. Like I've said in my first video, just over there, there's a massive uh, rubbish stump of Braden's over there, in the hills over there. So I'll head over there one day. So anyway, guys, I'll take off now and we'll go and weigh the, um, the land cruise on the trail and see how much we're going to carry up to the city tomorrow. And hopefully we'll have a safe trip. All right, guys, we'll see you at the way bridge. Boy, you stay there. Sit, sit, good girl. And sit there, here. Good girl, good girl. Stay there. You stay there, stay there. Well fellas, it's Groundhog Day, going back over the weigh bridge again, so we'll see what we weigh today. I think it was about 7.6 tonne yesterday, so I might have been wrong. What's that? 7.6 7 today. Okay, well I might have been wrong yesterday, I can't remember. Anyway, carrying 7.62 or 7.6 and I'm fully loaded so um, I think we're carrying about at least between four and five, yeah, about four tonne. So yeah, it was. It's a, we're actually carrying about four tonne because when I first weighed the Land Cruiser and trailer with fully empty, we weighed 3.64. So it's pretty good guys, so I'm taking up 4 tonne of scrap metal tomorrow up to the city. So hopefully I'll bring back about 800 bucks. And like I say, I get about, um, I get 60%, so, and Braden gets 40%. So guys, I've just moved the Land Cruiser forward, so I've only got the trailer on here at the moment on the way bridge so it looks pretty good actually I'm carrying 2.9 tonne on the trailer so it's pretty good so I'm kind of happy with that I reckon I'll get up to Perth pretty safe but it will be a slow trip so hopefully if I can get motivated tomorrow morning I'll try and leave early like you know five o'clock in the morning or something like that so it's been a hard few days guys but I reckon it'd be worth it and yeah hopefully i'll have a safe trip and yeah well thanks guys i appreciate you watching and have a great night wherever you are okay see ya